Hey there everyone, I just want to show you the new Turnitin integration with Microsoft Teams that we have turned on. So uh, if you go to create a new assignment, you see get these different options here, but I'm going to go for a brand new assignment and you'll see that there's a new option to use Turnitin here. So I'll call this test, uh, turn it in. Uh, give some instructions for add some resources for the uh, particular assignment so remember these resources could be a blank word document it could be a word document that you've got scaffolded some work in there it could be a page in your class notebook that you can uh, push out a link or just basically a new file a new one of these files that you get the students to edit anything that you choose so um, I might in this case just go for a blank word document that's nice and easy so I'll go new file, or it could be something in Teams as well. So blank new document, so I'll just go new doc. You could call that assignment one, and I'm going to attach that doc. Uh, and by default, the students can't edit it, but in this case here, I want students to be able to edit their own copy of the Word doc and send it back to me. All right, I can add a rubric here in Teams, so I'm going to just choose uh, one that I've used before, test rubric, it's a pretty basic one. Yep, I'm going to attach that rubric in there. You can do your own rubric. Uh, the due date, great. And down the bottom here, turn it in. So I'm just going to turn that on. So turn it in, then becomes available for this particular assignment. Uh, you get some other things in here. Don't assign to future students. We can turn that off. So uh, we can also make this so the assignment goes live at a certain time. And I can also change which channel that this assignment will be posted in, which is important as well. For most people, it's the general channel, but I do have other channels in here that I can actually post the announcement for the assignment in. So I then just click on Assign, and everyone will get that uh, assignment pop up, and they'll get a notification in Teams. I just want to show you one that I've already done previously. So here's the list of students in my class. You can see that there's a few... A couple of people that have handed in and there's one person here that I've already returned back to Noah so I'm able to see that and I've already marked that so if we look at uh, let's look at Brad so, so I can click on uh, this handed in uh, he's got two different documents that he's handed in one was the original one and one was one that he re you know, added extra in there and you can see right underneath here you can see the similarity reports and you can actually view it, view the Turnitin report. So not only can I see his submission, not only can I uh, make comments on this, that submission, this Word document here, so I can insert my own comments and edit them. Not only can I, I put some audio comments or use audio to put my comments in there on the Word document, I can also uh, view the Turnitin report. So if I click on that, that's going to open up uh, my internet browser my default internet browser and I can see the report here from Turnitin directly in there so it's pretty easy and pretty nice it'll give me an overview of the sources so Brad has obviously ripped this article directly from Wikipedia so if I click that it'll show me the Wikipedia article over here and show me where that text has come exactly where that text has come from okay so um, list of all sources so I can see the other places where that has uh, come from so you'll see all of the sources there as well so uh, that's really nice if I go to uh, this one here I can go to my rubric then I can say uh, that bit there is fair uh, organized information was good that was excellent and I've got those three criteria I've got marks points for those so it's uh, four is the top there so we've got three criteria so 12 is the total so I can click on done, I can give him some feedback and I can return the assignment back to Brad. I can then go on to the next student, you can see he's got two there. So the next student that did it was uh, Blaze, we got only a 4% similarity. So again I can view the Turnitin report and that will go and open uh, the internet as, again and show me which parts of this document, only 4%, a low percentage there, that have actually been copied from another source. And I can see exactly where that source is. So in this case here, uh, number one, you can see that one there corresponds to this. And it'll show me a link to that website and it'll show me exactly which parts of this submission from the student comes from the website there. Pretty cool. So again, I can mark this and I can return this all within here within Teams. So you're able now to use the Turnitin uh, plagiarism checker directly from assignments within Microsoft Teams. This will work whether it's in Word, even if it's a PDF, if it's PowerPoint, 
uh, any of those kind of standard text type uh, responses uh, that you'll get in there, we'll be able to run directly through Turnitin, um, now working through Teams.